Okay guys, so how y'all doing? Today I'm going to be doing a little rant. And this is going to be a goodwill rant. Why am I doing a goodwill rant? Because the goodwill that I'm talking about, the one in Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn, and there's only one down there. Shermhorn Street? I got an issue with y'all. I got a problem with you. And the problem that I had with you is when I went down there, I believe on the 15th or the 16th, you know, I'm like, all right, let me just go to the, at first I'm looking at the clothes and everything, and then I went to the back because I wanted a computer mouse. So I was like, okay, let's see if they got a computer mouse, mouse back there. So I go to the back, and they got this little door. And inside that door, they got people in there who's responsible for putting stuff on the shelf, Okay. And I'm hearing these people back there laughing. <laughs> they got this one African American woman there, and she was like an elderly woman. She was like I would say in her fifties or sixties, with gray hair and everything. Oh, <laughs> like she been there for a hot minute. Her and a couple of others back there. So I'm hearing them. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. First of all, they're very loud and very disrespectful, and there's customers walking the floor looking at these little shelves. So I'm seeing her. First, I saw her walk by the door with a big purifier, like the one that you put on the floor, a big one. Oh, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to keep this for myself. We should keep this for ourselves. Oh, really? Do I really need to hear you say that? And she was the loudest one back there. She sounded like she had like from North Carolina or something like that because she had an accent like from country. This is loud and brawlic as you could call it. Then I heard it was laughing all loud and everything. So I'm walking around and I'm looking and then I see her walk by again with the Keurig. Oh, we got the high dick. We got the high dick. I don't know about all that. Oh, no, I ain't putting that out there. got the high dick. Then I saw her with a cart. They were supposed to push out a cart with DVDs. I got to look through these first. These are DVDs. I got to look through these. Take whichever one I want out. Really? Downtown Brooklyn in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, downtown Sherman Street. So I'm pushing the car, looking around. And I'm still hearing her. I'm on the other side. Still hearing her. I pick up stuff like this. 99 cents. 99 cents. I pick up something like this. Now this is not from the Goodwill, but something like this. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. I pick up something like this. Ninety nine cents. So you overcharging garbage. Garbage. Ninety nine cents. Two ninety nine, just that and the third. <coughs> to compensate for that big floor purifier and the Keurig that that worker over there is hiding. So you overpriced garbage and to compensate for stuff that your workers are taking home to their families, hiding from the customer. Then I said, let me circle back. As I circle back, I'm seeing people come up to the door. Oh, hi, I just that and that. What you got back there? Oh, I got something good for you, girl. I got that and that and this. I, so you holding stuff for your family members and this and that, whatever? You holding the good stuff back. This is donated property. This is used stuff. This is... Really? Um, no. I see items like seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. I picked up a remote control. $5. A remote control for $5. Are you for are you for real? Then I picked up this thing. It's like one of those type of um them little wheeling wheel rack some things and they have the beads around it and you can pull the beads off to put around like your little arts and craft stuff. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. I kid you not, sure just got I was like a little string thing that you pull off. And that you wrap around. Some people pull it off, and they tie it on their little presents and make a little bow. And they use the the, um, the scissors to make the strip. That type of stuff. 
$3.99. Why? Because your work is down there. It's taking the really good items and stashing it or keeping it for themselves instead of putting it on the floor. $7.99 for stuff that... What? This is goodwill. Okay? Goodwill Industries. Where do you get off? with these prices how dare you who do you what and then I'm thinking okay now I'm a regular you know I shop there on occasions you know here and there and I use my um my little card you get like a card so I spent like a good three hundred dollars worth of stuff and then I get up there I'm thinking I'm getting you know I got a lot of points five points I, how do I have five points and I just spent a good three hundred of my dollars Oh, somebody got the same name as you. Somebody got the same name as me, but not the same card number. So, y'all going off of names other than the card number? You giving people my points because they have the same name as me? You're supposed to go off for the card number. What you should do is when people open up and take out these little cards, these Goodwill cards, you should take a picture of their face so that you would know who's the who. Because if I come up in there and I show my card, and my card, the face and the name on, and the face on the card in your computer is not the same. Then it's not that person. And you can't be giving my points for the money that I spend to somebody else. Yo, that pissed me off. Let me tell you something. I'm about to call the BBB, Better Business Bureau, and the Consumers Affairs. I'm gonna report this. Y'all workers can't be holding the good items. You put trash on the on the on the shelves and you keeping all the good items to yourself you pick stuff out you the co-workers take things take the good stuff and give people trash and then you overprice the trash that's not gonna work this is miss tmi and fyi 67 trust me tmi that's right too much information <laughs> maybe not enough tell like it is uh -uh. that's my rant for the goodwill now, I haven't seen that situation with the Salvation Army, but for the Goodwill, you're going to put 99 cents on something like this? Get that old lady from back there, whoever they are, them loud, cackling type women, like this is some type of fish market. Get them from back there and put some real workers, some honest workers, who's going to put the items on the shelf, where the good, bad, or ugly don't care. Put it out. Don't be hiding stuff, old lady. Anyway... Y'all take care, because I'm not about to say all of that, say blessings, and that, because this is a rant. I'm upset. Peace.